guys. What's up? So, we enjoyed answering the questions that we had gotten a while back. We haven't gotten any new ones really recently. Ask us questions. We want your questions. So, I went to Twitter. There's a hashtag that's used every year called Ask a Curator. There's also an account called Ask a Curator. I found 18 questions. 18 questions. However, one question will be on a different video with a different topic. And it's so 17 questions. I've sent these to Erin ahead of time. But, but I only read a few and I was like, I like these. Because I was like, I want an on the spot. She wants an on the spot honest answer. Yeah. So we're going to do kind of a series of these. Because there's 17 questions. So there might be two questions in one video, three in another. We'll go that way. We'll see how uh, easy these questions are. <laughs> Alright. So my first one that I have for you, Erin Anderson. Mm-hmm. What object or artwork in our collection makes you laugh every time you see it? Makes me laugh. Not including us. <laughs> Not he doesn't make object that makes me laugh. I giggle at the the step stool with the legs. I do. It's just. I mean, it's you're you. It's mm, it's my... practical, utilitarian. Okay. I mean, you know, you use what you got. Yeah. And uh, hey, when you're out here, you're in the middle of nowhere. You use antelope legs or buffalo legs or I don't really know if I have one that makes me laugh or giggle I don't know I have one that makes me smile every time I see it and that's the pharmacy cabinet just no I take that back after the story you told me about how Calvin fell on the bomb <laughs> anytime I see the practice bomb I just sit there and I'm like oh god that's amazing yeah that was pretty fun too see it's the story behind it it's not necessarily the object and the fact that Susan still talks about those stupid table legs in her class <laughs> and I made her handle them because I didn't want to. Question number two is a serious question. I don't know. What do you love about your job? I, my favorite thing about my job is on a family fun day, seeing families learning. Seeing dads with their children, mm -hmm. like reading the text, looking at dinosaur bones. Doing the museum trek. Doing with the each museum other. trek. I love when they're working as a group. And, you know, it's cool when the kids are excited. But I love when they bring their parents in and their parents are genuinely excited to be learning this with them. And having fun with them and all that. That absolutely makes my day. And I love just that little light bulb comes on and you're like, ah, we did something. You know, we touched somebody. We Not literally. Fun. I, I agree. I always told Aaron whenever I first started, I was like, I love watching people see history and actually be like, oh my gosh, this is, this is history. History is not just names and dates. It's actually... Yeah. It's boots, it's it's hats, it's it's the tangible items, not just the it's person. Truck wagons. It's yeah. I love whenever I see people come in and especially like I'll always go back to Titanic, whenever the kids would come in and see the artifacts from Titanic and they'd be like, Oh my gosh, this isn't just a movie, it really happened. Yes. I love that. Yes. You just see the face and be like, What? Yeah, and the fact that we set it up. Doesn't even cross your mind at that point. No. Like, that is so exciting to be like, I set up Titanic. You set up Rodan. But when you see them learning and enjoying it, you, you don't no. you don't think about you. It's not like, oh, I got to touch that. It's like, thank you. You learned things. Yeah. It, it changes everything. I, I just, it's the facial features when you see a kid sitting there reading and the next thing they're like, what? It's yeah. fun. Oh, mom, mom. You need to read this. Come see this. I do that to my mom all the time and I'm 36. Usually, and with you and my mom, they get the... It's exactly how it works. <laughs> and you see that in the kids. <laughs> oh, Lord. But it's so fun. That's what I love about our job. Other than actually getting to handle Rodan, things like that. Yeah. Other than handling the objects, it's seeing the... seeing people learning. So, go on out. Visit your local museum. Visit your local regional history museum. You know what, you've probably got a small one in your town and it might even be free. Go check it out. Go look at history. It is history. Everything's history. Or science. Or art. I mean, it doesn't matter. Go experience it. Go learn something. Share it with others. Drag your best friend. Take your date to the museum. It's and you know what, if you don't like the museum, that's cool too. But you probably still learn something. See you next week. Subscribe and ask us questions to add to the 17 questions. Well, we got two down now, so we're at 15. 15 more to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> tweet, tweet. <laughs>